Guys, I got to go back to Arizona here again, okay? I know I just did a report a couple of days ago, all right, about the fact that the plague, the plague was found in the fleets there in northern Arizona, specifically counties of Navajo County and also Coconino County, where fleas did test positive, guys, for the bubonic plague. We know that wiped out thousands upon thousands of people way back a long time ago. Okay, guys, so now more stuff happening in Arizona reports that dozens of dead birds fell from the sky in Arizona in a neighborhood in Buckeye, Arizona, guys. This has people puzzled. This has people miffed. They don't know what is going on. They can't explain it. All right, they are advising people, do not touch these birds, okay? Do not go near them. You have to take precaution when approaching this because you don't know what kind of diseases they may be carrying. There's just, there, you just don't know. You have to exercise caution, okay? Now, there is a biblical reason for this, okay? This is a prophecy that was given in the book of Hosea, okay? And this is not the first time that we have seen dead birds fall from the sky, okay? There was a situation that happened, uh, some may know, back in uh, BB, Arkansas. This was um, right on the cusp, New Year's Eve 2010, to bring in the year 2011, okay, where hundreds of birds fell dead from the sky. No explanation, couldn't explain why it happened, okay, but the Bible does. I'm going to give you guys that explanation right now. If you have a Bible, go to Hosea chapter 4, okay, because the Lord has been showing us these signs here with the dead animals, guys, dead fish washing up on the seas, uh, Everybody got the beasts of the field, dead fish, dead cows, dead animals, all the sort. All right, guys, Hosea chapter four, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth or no more, no mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. How many people know that's exactly right here in America right now? There's no truth, no knowledge of God in the land. They don't even want to acknowledge him anymore. They want to push him out. Okay. And by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, the land mourn, guys, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. We're living in the last days, guys. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. He is showing us these signs, okay? He also says in chapter, in verse six, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. You don't want God to reject you. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of my God. I will also forget thy children. Guys, we're seeing sin ramp up. We're seeing the moral decline in America and all over the world. Lawlessness is breaking out. The spirit of the Antichrist is rising. It is getting dangerous. It's not to scare you guys, but it's just to let you know the current time that we're living in, okay? I never want to end any video without giving somebody the opportunity to receive Christ as their Lord and Savior. If that's you today, if you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior, you could be born again. You could be forgiven of all of your sins. You could come into the family of God today where you will have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity. I promise you guys, it'll be the greatest decision you ever will make. Please let me know. All right, guys, I'll continue here to bring you up to speed on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. All right, guys, I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please. Be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.